The fastest way to learn a coding language or a framework is to get your hands dirty with coding as soon as possible. Don't waste time on long tutorials that don't involve hands-on practice. They'll just make you frustrated and won't teach you how to code in the end. This learning method is optimized to throw you into practical coding projects as soon as possible. Then, it circles back to understand in-depth concepts, reflect on the projects, and prepare for interview questions. This method is designed for individuals who already have some coding experience and understand concepts such as loops, if statements, classes, etc. Start with a super fast crash course. Get a quick grasp of the coding language or framework's basics. Whether this is documentation or YouTube videos, the key here is speed. Absorb the essentials and move on. If we want to learn Next.js for example, then maybe something like this fast crash course and no longer. Jump into a practical project right away. It could be a guided project from YouTube or elsewhere. It's okay if you don't understand everything at first. When you hit a roadblock, go back to your crash course or explore the specific concept on the internet. Afterward, return back to your code. This question-driven learning is more time efficient and the knowledge tends to stick better. Do this for three or so projects. With every project, try to reduce the amount of copy-pasting from tutorials. You can reuse code you have written before or copy-paste solutions from Stack Overflow since those tend to require some thinking to get things working unlike copy-pasting from a tutorial. This is like taking off your training wheels slowly. If you're learning Next.js for example, try a comprehensive guided project like this one from Code with Antonio. In those projects, you tend to do a full clone of a well-known website, giving you a close experience with real-world tasks. In step 3, we take off the training wheels and attempt to do a project with minimal copy-pasting from tutorials. You can reuse code snippets but avoid copying entire solutions. By this point, you've got practical experience, know how to structure projects, handle coding tasks, and solve errors and bugs. You're not just familiar with a language or framework, you can use it effectively. Now the last step is to prepare for interview questions and to have a deeper understanding of what you're learning. So start looking into common interview questions and their answers and take time to understand the concepts they cover. It's also a good time to reflect on the code you've written. Double down on any code you found challenging in your projects and make an effort to understand it better. Now you're ready to get out there, code confidently, and secure that job.